Okay, so hello there, YouTubers. This is little Liz. She's part of my Dino Monsters collection. And so, um, yeah, so I thought uh, it's been a while since I've done a demonstration video, painting video, so I thought I'd do one this morning. So this is the collection I'm currently working in. It's July 2020, and I'm working in Dino Monsters. Go oh, look at it. So I guess a little background on my process is I, in this situation, have <clears throat> drawn, oh, I have five more to paint, so, and I have, I think, hi Jackson, that's Jackson, just gave him a big smooch. I have, I think, seven listed for sale on eBay, so whatever five and seven is, that's how many I'm adding to this collection this, so far this month. And, um, yeah, so I went through and I drew a bunch of dino monsters for this collection. And uh, this is little Liz. And now I'm just painting it. So I paint in gouache because, uh, well, gouache is a watercolor, just if you don't know that. It's opaque watercolor, but what I like about gouache is that it's very vibrant and it's also really clean, like from my perspective as an artist, I'm not going to ruin my clothes painting in gouache, but on the other side of that, unless you finish it with a sort of wax, and sometimes I do finish them with like Dorland's wax or um, a Krylon Museum quality um varnish spray varnish then they they do need to be framed under glass for protection because it's watercolor and it'll reactivate if it gets wet so it could get ruined um but what i like about gouache is that like i said it's clean i don't have to worry about it ruining my clothes or my work area or any of that uh, i used to paint in acrylic and i still do occasionally and it's vibrant as well but it God, I'm ruining my clothes. I got to wear this funky apron. I mean, it's just inevitably messy and I don't like that. So that's the other reason I like wash. But the vibrancy, that'd probably be number one. Um, so you just have to be a little bit careful because you want to make sure that if you sell your originals like I do, that your gouache is um, light fast. That meaning that it has longevity. It's not going to fade in the, it's not going to fade on your buyers <clears throat> so yeah that's how I started out so I really love to explore and utilize pattern in unique and unexpected ways and right now um, and I really wanted to do, incorporate quite a bit more pattern into this painting and design of little Liz but I, in the end I just she was so cute I didn't want to just mess with her any further but I do enjoy the pattern that's going on in the tree the tree branches and the tree trunk and just I like the way it's looking with that um, squiggly lines and same thing with the leaves I need to do something a little bit different though I'm not totally in love with what's going on with the leaves in my designs in this collection right currently but yeah it's cute right I just think she's so cute <clears throat> and then it's never my intention when I start a painting to outline it in black but usually when I get to about this stage I just I really like the aesthetic that develops when you outline everything in black I don't know why I just do and I have always liked it even as a little child I remember coloring I love to outline my colorings in black crayon so I just, I like it. I don't know why. I just do. So yeah, this is little Liz and she's for sale right now on eBay along with uh, several other in this collection. And um, I just think she's adorable. This is how I envision her living. And uh, this is the Dino Monsters Collections. Hey, bye.